My name is Joel Engardio, and uh, I come from an Italian Catholic family where my mother converted and became a Jehovah's Witness, the only one in my family to do so. So I was raised in the religion, uh, chose not to join, and decided to become a journalist instead. Jehovah's Witnesses were founded in 1879 and have always been outsiders. Leader C.T. Russell challenged mainstream Christian beliefs like Hellfire and got rid of the collection plate. He urged people to read the Bible for themselves, to have a first name relationship with Jehovah God. I think a lot of people who were schooled in Christianity, who went to Sunday school, they get perceptions of Jehovah's Witnesses that were taught to them, perhaps stereotypes or erroneous assumptions that Jehovah's Witnesses are not Christian or be wary of them or they think only special people get to go to heaven. and. Uh, so there's a lot of, or perhaps they're a cult. Just continue reading the Bible. Well, we do that too. Very good. So. I'm not sure if we're reading the same Bible, though. Well, I think, I think so. We do come before you humbly this evening to thank you so much for this time that we have to be able to spend together. You really have to look at the classic definition of what is a cult, and do Jehovah's Witnesses match it? I mean, are witnesses holed up in some compound in Idaho? Have they only been around since the 1960s? Are they, you know, do they follow one magnanimous leader? Do they give all their money away? And the answer to that is no. They've been around for 130 years. Um, since the 1970s, Jehovah's Witnesses are run by a committee. So a committee of, of uh, nine to 12 men who co constantly rotate and change. So there is no one leader. And Jehovah's Witnesses, unlike most religions, pass no collection plate. There's no tithing, literally no collection plate at any service. All the donations are voluntary and anonymous. So, um, and the witnesses interact with society. The children go to public school. Uh, witnesses work in society. Um, so you can't call them a cult because they don't fit the definition. But they are uh, misunderstood in a, a smaller religion, and so it's, it's easy uh, to label somebody as lesser than.